What's going on guys, welcome back, Madden17 Commentary, do me a favor, like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, Twitter, Shutdown Safety is my username, playing this for you at speed. I'd had some people ask me about outside runs, runs being overpowered, Johnny Rutledge specifically, so I wanted to do this video to kind of show you guys how I feel about the running backs getting to the outside, and you'll talk a little bit about that spin there in just a little bit, but I want to first off look at how Frank Gore gets to the outside here, because you'll notice the linemen don't do the best job of blocking, and it's almost like there's some interactions missing here with these two linebackers as they come across. I mean, they really don't get blocked, but they also really don't get held up. They just kind of start to trip over each other, and I also don't like the fact that you've got both linebackers here doing the same exact diving tackle, miss tackle animation. It just looks dated in a video game. Now, as Gore gets to the open field, you'll notice how slow that spin move is, and I did this spin move intentionally because Madden has really worked a lot this year on trying to make a difference in the running backs, and it shows there with an older back like Gore who doesn't have the same agility and doesn't have the same ability to make those cuts like he would before. Now, just to talk about pursuit, because that's one thing that really damages this play, in my opinion. J.J. Watt, obviously one of the best players in the NFL. Look at how he pursues up the field right here. I mean, this is taking a cut at an absolute pure angle. I mean, just going to kind of turn it sideways here. Take a look at the lines in the field. Follow the hash, and then look at how straight he makes this cut. And I don't understand this. This is one of the best players on the field, offensive or defensive. And what confuses me more about it is when we go up and we take a look at the safety, and I just want to rewind it here, show you the whole play in its entirety from his perspective, he makes one cut, one decision, runs over at an angle that really doesn't have him getting blocked by anyone, and ultimately makes the tackle. So I'd love to know how you guys feel about this. I appreciate you checking out, and you know I'll be back very shortly with more commentary. 